We know him for his strong ball running, industrious attitude, and a career full of individual and representative success. But the career of Jack Wyden has not always been smooth. In fact, it almost ended before it really got started. Let's look back at Jack Wyden's illustrious career with the Canberra Raiders. A proud Indigenous Australian, Jack Whiten started his footballing career for the Orange, CYMS and Bloomfield Tigers before getting a contract with the Canberra Raiders in his teenage years. He would progress through the club's SG ball sides and was recognised nationally as one of Australia's best young talents. Selected for New South Wales under-18s and Australian schoolboys honours in 2010, Whiten only needed one season in the Raiders under-20 side before receiving the call-up to the NRL in 2012. We know Jack Whiten's expertise at 5'8", but it was on the wing where Jack started his NRL career. His athleticism allowed him to fill multiple positions across the back line. His sophomore year saw himself gain his first representative experience, selected for both the Indigenous All-Stars and New South Wales country sides. Whiten consistently made the New South Wales country and Indigenous sides, but was yet to make that step up to the New South Wales Blues and Australian sides. He was named in the emerging Blues and extended kangaroo squads on multiple occasions, but Whiten sat on the outside looking in. The Raiders' poor form hadn't helped his cause either, with just the prelim final in 2016 and semi-final in 2012. Whiten's career had gone well to this point, reaching the 100 NRL game milestone recognised as the Raiders' star man, but it was yet to boom. In 2018 though, he would have a defining moment, and not one of the good kind. The crew of Jack White went into limbo after a drunken night out on June the 28th of 2018. CCTV footage would show Whiten on a 20 minute tirade where he was caught assaulting and urinating in public. Jack saw his career flash before his eyes as he narrowly missed jail time, receiving a two month suspended jail sentence, a one year good behavior bond, $30,000 fine and a 10 match NRL ban. This would effectively end his 2018 season, but Whiten would explain how opening this experience was saying, it showed me how close I was to losing it all from that silly night. Not really scared, but stressed, very stressed, disappointed in myself. I let down my family. During this rough period, Jack connected with his Indigenous elders in an effort to get his career back on track, stating, They showed a lot of faith in me. They made it clear what they wanted to see out of me going forward from there. You can tell the elders they care. Wyden had gained an understanding of the privilege it was to be an NRL player and wanted to repay the faith of the Raiders who stuck by him. Jack was on a mission in his return in 2019, playing spectacularly to start the campaign at 5'8". With the Raiders sitting in fourth spot, his efforts would be rewarded by the New South Wales Blues coach Brad Fittler, with Wyden selected for the first time for the Blues. Wyden was key to the Blues series win featuring in the centres. Jack followed up his Blues heroics by helping the Raiders reach their first NRL Grand Final in 25 years. Wyden had been the club's best all year and did not disappoint in the Grand Final. In a Grand Final field with controversy, the Raiders fell short, although Whiten received the Clive Churchill medal, the fourth player in the history to win the award on a losing side. Whiten's comeback year was completed with his first call up to the Kangaroos in the Oceania Cup. The Raiders would attempt to run it back the following year, but this time losing in the preliminary final against the eventual premiers, the Melbourne Storm. Although disappointing, Whiten's individual play was special once again as the club's main man Whiten won the Dallium medal and was the joint Malmeninga medalist for the Canberra Raiders in that season. He was again selected as a New South Wales Blues representative and in the matter of two years had gone from almost out of the NRL competition to the competition's best player. Whiten had used his past personal indiscretions as personal growth and as a prime reason to why athletes should sometimes be given a second chance. Since 2020, Whiten has continued to feature for the New South Wales Blues and was selected in the World Cup winning Kangaroo side in 2022. Whiten has played in 225 games so far for the Raiders and scored 71 tries in his 11 years in the NRL. A proper footballer who has been the heart and soul of the green machine, his recent decision to leave his boyhood club has come as a shock to many. Joining South Sydney in 2024, Whiten has left a million on the table in pursuit of a premiership, a hard pill to swallow for Raiders fans. Whiten's decorated career has had everything except that premiership ring. Joining the likes of Latrell Mitchell and Cameron Murray on a side that has been perennial contenders for the past five years, it gives him the opportunity to accomplish that. Jack's tenure in Canberra has been tremendous. No matter what the future holds for his career, he will always go down as one of the Raiders' greats. So that is all for this video. If you enjoyed this one, press that like button. If you want more from the Sporting News Australia, hit that subscribe button now.